Hello guys, my name is Elio and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Ikaku. Uh, Ikaku is a vermilion bird. Uh, his specialty is being a tank, uh, bleed, and dispel as we can see right here. And let's go ahead and see what he's all about. Alright, so here we have the lovely Ikaku. Let's go over here and take a look at his skills though, which is pretty much all that matters. Uh, for his combo skill, Rift Strike, it deals damage to a single enemy, and if the target's HP is higher than his at that time, he deals 50% extra damage to the target. That sounds wonderful. That sounds absolutely wonderful as a unit just to, to start the battle with, because obviously uh, he is going to do, in theory, a lot of damage, but once again, I'm kind of weary about that because he feels like another Nemu where the skills sound good on paper, but actually when put to use, it's like, mm, you're not quite there, buddy. Not quite there, but it is what it is. And I'm sure people have invested in Ikaku. I think I saw a guy on Reddit. He just absolutely loved his Ikaku. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm interested to see how he would perform with this skill uh, later on in the game. Especially when you consider that uh, as time goes on and the enemy's HP drops or Ikaku's HP drops, most of the enemy's HP drops, Will this move just become weaker and just become a regular skill with no added passive to it at all? That's something to definitely think about. But let's take a look at his rage skill, Whirlwind Strike, which deals damage to a single enemy. So Ikaku is a single target enemy. Well, single target DPS only. Keep that in mind. He is a single target DPS only. And when this attack is blocked, it instantly deals 80% of his attack as bonus damage to the target. That sounds great, dude. Absolutely great. But how many times are you blocked, especially in a PvP situation? I could definitely say in the PvE world, I see all kinds of blocks from the NPCs. All kinds of blocks. But in terms of PvP, I'm not sure how common block is unless someone's running like a team that is built around a block composition or one unit in particular is built around a block composition. Which means that this skill is like hit or miss, dude. 100% hit or miss. If the enemy doesn't block, then there goes the 80% bonus of his attack damage uh, going to that target out the window. Like, this move is just its just a single target skill with just raw attack and brings nothing else to the table. That's a big gamble for a unit that you're investing in, especially if you're trying to get him like the orange and stuff. I'm not saying that is bad, but it's, it's like Russian Roulette, dude. It is absolutely Russian Roulette, and once... And once again, like I said before in a Nemo video, if I'm going to be using a single target character, I want to make sure their rage skill is going to kill someone, if not almost kill them. And so far, that does not sound like the play of the game for me. But his uh, third skill is just attack strengthen, which obviously boosts his attack. And then his passive healing ointment. When he is alive, after, after the end of each round, he heals the ally with the lowest HP and dispels his or her bleed effect. So he removes debuffs chronologically and receives damage based on attacker's HP after the end of each round. What does that mean? Oh, I I'm assuming if a character has bleed on them that he can actually strip bleed off of them once per turn. And it's, it's cool that he can heal everyone. Well, not everyone, but it's cool that he can heal himself or heal other characters on the battle and take away bleed from them. But obviously, if you're not fighting a bleed comp, then part of that skill is wasted and it's just pretty much a heal. I wish it was something though that morally that more benefited his attack and made his like rage skill a little bit more reliable. But it is what it is. Uh, it's nice that he has in theory some self sustain and actually helps other people out. But is that enough to make him worthy of your team? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But let's go over to his war souls and take a look at those real quick.
All right, so those are the warsaws for Ikaku. Once again, it's not something that you have to follow. It's just something that I tried to build, uh, taking into account of his skills. So there's not necessarily a right or wrong here. Just, you know, don't put something that, doesn't, that's, that just entirely makes no sense on him because you're doing yourself an injustice. Let's take a look at his talent skill real quick, though. Uh, third seat of squad 11 in non-PVP modes, crit strength and block strength of all characters is increased by 1.1%. Uh, not a super big deal. 1.1% is very, very, very like uh, not even there, pretty much. And so it it's a bummer of a talent. Nothing special at all, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Not all units are created equally. But that's pretty much it for Ikaku, in my opinion. His skills sound good on paper, but the problem is, is that, especially with him being single target. His skills only work in certain scenarios against certain units only. And with it being such niche units or... Let me rephrase that. It being such useless on majority of units, in my opinion, unless you like really super duper enjoy Ikaku as a character and he's one of your favorite, I just wouldn't build him up for that pure, pure, pure reason because it's just not worth it. It's just not worth his rage skill being whiffed because no one decides to block his attack due to RNG. It's just RNG dependent and that's never a good thing. And once more, I will reiterate what I said in the Nemo video. If I can't nuke a target with a single uh, target DPS, there's no point in that single target DPS. You are better off bringing someone that can do AOE, that can CC, that can you know poison, that can apply dots. There's endless amounts of choices that you could do better than a single target that can't even nuke one target. But that's pretty pretty much it for Ikaku, you guys. Uh, more videos on the way. If you guys want to see another character, for once again, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try and do that one next for you. And I'll see you guys until then. Peace out.